Hi, we're going to have a quick look at whole part models here. This is um, when an, a value has been partitioned, so splitting two parts. So it's just a fancy way of saying a calculation's been um, a, a, the, the two parts of a calculation and the total. So the whole part is here, so this is the whole. And this is a part, and this is a part. Now, when these two parts are together, they make the whole. So, if we count how many flowers are in this part, can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. I can just put a little number five next to it to remind me. And then here, I have a part here, so I have Three, one, two, three. I'm just going to put that there to help me remember. So I need to add these two amounts together to make the whole. Now the first step in doing this is I could draw them in to help me and then I can count and work the total. So I can say one, two, three, four, five. And that's that part. And then I can take in that part. One, two, three. And then I can count the total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my total is eight. If I have, um, if I had just part of the whole first, then I would be doing an inverse operation, but I'm, look, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Okay, so this, I've, I've got another whole part model here represented slightly differently. It's just this turned around. So again, this is the whole. This is a part, and this is a part. Now we're working pictorially at the minute, that means with pictures. So in this part, I have a number of dots, but here I've written a numeral. Now I think it would be more helpful for me at the moment if I could make that value as a numeral, so um, as a picture as well. So I'm gonna one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put four dots there. And it might be helpful if I put a numeral in here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five dots here. So I'm going to write that. So the total is five and four. So what could I do? Well, I'm going to draw the spots. I'm going to push them up into here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put my four in. One, two, three, four. And if you note how I'm putting them into my um, whole part model, I'm putting them in an array, like they would be set in a tens frame. So here I've got five and four, and I can see straight away that that's nine, but I can double check by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, and I've, I've just dotted the ink. So the total in here is nine. Okay. You may have a whole part model that looks like this. So you have your whole and you have a part and a part. So here's your whole, here's your part, and here's your part. And you might have something in here. So you might have a value in the whole, and then you might have a value here or it could be in the opposite side. Now it's asking you in this case to work out what's the missing value. So two add something makes the whole value. So the easiest thing that I find to do this, to work this out, is to look at the whole value. I've got two as a part, so I'm gonna take cross two out of my whole value, and then this is my missing value. So this was five, this was two, and my missing value here is three. I hope that helps with your whole part model.